Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cooking with my mom. I've gotten so many requests to do this. And Valerie's making her guest meal number one. <laughs> Tell them what it is. That's what we used to call it all the time. Yeah. And we're doing steaks on the grill. We are doing uh, potatoes that are uh, cooked in butter. And we use sour cream on those. Sort of like a baked potato, but not quite. And we're doing broccoli, fresh broccoli with hollandaise sauce. So if Does you that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also to see more of Valerie, make sure you are subscribed. And I guess let's get into the video. Okay. In order to make potatoes, we want to have about a stick and a half of butter. We use this uses a lot of butter. And in order to make the special sauce for the steaks, we'll also be using a stick of butter. This is why we're fat. This is why we're fat. <laughs> At least this is why I'm fat. It's okay, Valerie. That's why Alex has to exercise to make sure she doesn't get fat by doing that. Body food. positivity. You are gorgeous. <laughs> and gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use a stick and a half there. And I always use Land O'Lakes butter. Salted. Land O'Lakes salted butter. Best kind. So we're melting the butter? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut them. Because you do want to have kind of a uniform size. So they'll cook about the same way. I mean, they have to be exactly the same size. It's sort of the same size. And then you do that with all of them? Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, so once the butter is melted and everything, you just put the potatoes, the chopped potatoes, in the little skillet. You don't put any salt or pepper in or on the potatoes because the butter's salted. Uh, note to self to all chefs, don't turn on the burner. It's not nothing in the pan. Yes. She's making the sauce. Special sauce. Special sauce. So that's uh, butter in there, like she just put in. It's hard to say exactly how much goes in until it looks right. <laughs> you gotta be sure to really shake the bottle a lot before she's your sauce. Separate. We're doing a little splash of white vinegar. This is garlic powder? Garlic powder, yeah, not garlic salt. Okay. Garlic powder. And you're gonna whisk that all up together. Mm, I just put just a little dab more. I think we like things kind of garlicky. We do. Mm, that's how it's supposed to look like. Okay. It's not a thick sauce. It's a very thin sauce and it goes on the steaks as you're cooking them. They're not turned up hardly at all. They cook very slow. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe off the remaining soot and grease from the grill after we scrubbed it. The next thing we do is we season the grill. These are actually two, I'm telling you, just telling camera this, these are actually two porterhouse steaks because they did not really have what we needed. So the butcher at Fresh Market was nice enough to actually cut it. So in a porterhouse steak, you have the New York strip side and you have the filet side. And since Alex only likes filet, she's going to get the filet side. So Sherry and I have the New York strip side. Now we'll turn this way down because I do not like to cook things fast. I think you're always better off with your grilling or cooking the potatoes or whatever cooking them more slowly so 
so that all the good stuff can seep in. So. And how long does mine normally take and how long do yours normally take on the grill? So. Approximately. How do you know they're done? Uh, I usually bring a knife out. <laughs> oh, and just a see. Cheat. Yep. Um, since you like yours done more than we like ours done. Yep. Uh, we will, I will turn yours up much more. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to leave them there for a minute. Okay. And we'll go in and cut the broccoli. And you never want to put cooked meat where you have raw meat. Once you put raw meat on a plate, you need to clean it. Because raw meat has all sorts of um, diseases, potentially. And that's why you never want to put cooked meat on a plate that is has had raw meat on it. Unless, of course, the plate's been washed. You also want to make sure that when you cut your vegetables that you never cut your vegetables on a cutting board or with a knife where you cut meat. In this case, all we did was cut potato, and you can certainly cut your broccoli after you cut your potato. Usually, I never put a pan on unless I have something in it. I may never usually even put it on the stove. So that was like a mistake because then if you end up doing what I did, and turning on the wrong burner, you can burn up your pan. Now I've got water in there, and then I get the steam basket. And we open up the steam basket, and we lower it there into the water. The water's a little high, so that's how we're going to steam our broccoli. And I'm going to take and clean the broccoli, cut clean the broccoli. clean. <laughs> and what I like to do is do this first. Unfortunately, the broccoli is not very crisp. It'll be okay, but it's not as crisp as I would like it. Because if you see anything like that, that bending, mm -hmm. that says oh, it's that like celery. Yeah, too much moisture in it. Yeah. And then we'll wash them and put them in the steamer basket. Everyone, here is Sherry. She's doing her fetch rewards. I oh, am. Yeah. Just please got, sponsor us because just got Sherry actually job. uses it. I'm using my fetch rewards. <laughs> Just scan your receipt, you get reward points. Yeah, and not sponsored. Can... I wish it was. Okay, well, I won't say any more about it. But... Okay. So, Valerie's just cleaning the broccoli. I think she's shown you how to clean broccoli in another video, but she's just rinsing it off and then I'm checking to see if there's any brown spots. Brown spots or anything I don't like. And then to she's see. just placing it in the steamer, the steamer basket. basket thing. Mm -hmm. And that'll cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, as you can see, these are cooking. You can see some of the blood coming to the surface. They've been on here for probably, I would say, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I see that, that means that this one's on a little hotter part of the grill. So I'm gonna switch these around so they will cook more evenly. We'll just let those be on there for a while. I'll go back to the broccoli. No coyote. No has, coyote. Uh, <laughs> uh, gotten the steaks yet? Can you catch the vlog up on what we're doing? I don't sure. think we missed anything major. Uh, they didn't. I would just been uh, flipping the potatoes. And flipping the potatoes, and mm -hmm. I'm setting the so table. Alex is setting the table. Broccoli is steaming. Not yet. Oh, I cut the butter so that we got. Oh, and you guys know butter. how to make hollandaise. I've made I've it before. Already done the hollandaise packet yeah. in the hat in the one cup of half and half. Okay. It says milk on the packet, but okay. I always use half and half. Yep. And All so, right. Cool. Thanks. Okay, Valerie, show us the final product. Broccoli with hollandaise, steak, onions, and potatoes. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, what do they do? Thumbs up. And subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. YouTube. Yep. Alex Jane. Yep. Sherry, say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Yep.